So, so, um, so let's have a go and let's just see what this looks like. So, um, tell the landlord farmers who you are. Well, I'm Maz. Maz, yeah. Um, and I'm Paul. Good sir. From, I'm um, from uh, Sheffield Residential. Sheffield Residential. Yeah. I know you've been uh, um, clients of mine now for a good two, two and a half years. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. stuff. So, you're now based in London. Yeah. Well, what made you move to London then? Because I tell you what, um, you've got to admit, running an agency at um, arm's length is pretty. It's pretty. You know, there's not many people could do that. Yeah, but it's all about the team that you've got. So. Team, good systems. We don't, we don't need to be there. Uh, yeah, the system runs, it's, uh, runs it for us. You know, we can do our little checks every so often. So how yeah. often do you go up there then? Oh, um, once a year sometimes. Once a year? I might, be, I might go two to three times a year. My side is all the maintenance yeah. side of it. So. But not necessarily. You don't have but to a lot of it I can do over the telephone. Yeah. We, we have a telephone at home which links into our office, office at home. Yeah. Uh, you know, and we can communicate with staff that way. How, how the hell have you been able to run? And, and Sheffield Residential is, oh. is a pretty impressive firm. Oh. Tell me, mate, if you can put oh, the sorry. coffees just there, mate. There you don't go. The, the coffees are coming. Don't look at the camera. <laughs> Remember, you can look at the camera. You can do the David Dickinson look like that. There you go. Mm. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you here, yeah? Bless you, Well, the cart's on the table. The brown are eating. Thank you. So, um, there's not many agents out there that could mm. run an, uh, a, a successful lettings of estate agency at arm's length. Mm. So, so really, any top tips for the guys out there? Because you know, you're, you've obviously systemized your business mm. really, really well. We systemized our business back in 2011, 2012, mm. um, and that's what it's about. That the business should run itself, and also rather the, than you being in there daily, in out. It's got to be running itself. Plus, that's it's also having a good strong team. A you team. You can't, team you can't, yeah. The system does the work it needs to do, yeah, yeah. but we are the team. So, so who runs the show there then? Because I tell you what, you must. I hope you're paying well enough. <laughs> Don't say that. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a team effort. Really. There's what there's a guy in charge, but there's a team effort. Because if, even if you've got a good manager, if all the other staff members are crap, then it all falls apart. And I think what it is, you can have. A brilliant system, you can systemize everything, but if you've got crap stuff, yeah, then the whole thing collapses. So you've got to look after the stuff like you do, but all long term stuff, and it yep. works. You get perks, you yeah. keep them happy, you know. Because, so what sort of perks do you, do you give your team that uh, you can share with the, with uh, the I'll give you one, the, the main one that we do give uh, is, once, a bit more, a bit is more. once a year. We'll be kissing too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It'd be a different kind of movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, on. One, of the one of the perks we do is uh, we treat our staff to a, uh, a massage, a spa day. Yep. Yep. Because yep. we all appreciate how our, um, our staff work. Mm -hmm. um, they have to go out doing the viewings, doing yep. you know, a lot of um, late nights, yep. putting extra hours in. Yep. So to reward them, to de-stress them, mm -hmm. to give them that time back. Spa day, you know, in the day, ticket in the yeah, day, Friday, yeah. or whenever they want it, a weekend, we pay for it. Yeah. Good. Get uh, breakfast, we pay for breakfast uh, every month, once a month. Not every day, once a month. <laughs> what well, kind of like Mac they, and they no, can choose. They can no, no, they choose where they want to go for breakfast and we pay for it. They can have a full breakfast in somewhere yeah. uh, whilst having a meeting, or they can have breakfast brought in for them. Yeah. Uh, we also, every year, um, when it's a work anniversary, uh, from just from us, not from the business. Yeah. It's a personal part, very personal part of us, uh, a very personal gift from us. Yeah, and it's all um, handwritten. It's not done yeah. not through Moonpig. We don't do it. We don't do any of that. It's all handwritten, so it's personalised. Yeah. So I think if you make them feel special, part of the team, part of the family, that's what it is. That's right. And at Christmas, we give them a little Christmas Big gift, and we pay for the Christmas meal. Yeah. Yeah. So, so obviously you've got that. Let me just check the camera there. Hold on a second. Is that plugged in? Yeah, it is. Tell you what, lads. Tell you what, this can, this this is an absolute fantastic piece of kit. There, are we still running? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we're still running. We're still running. So, so a bit of, oh, I'm so glad, just have a bit of cake. Mm. I'll, I'll join you. That's oh, nice. Right, you don't sh have shares in this company, do you? <laughs> no, no. But I'll tell you what, I do want to share is is you know the I, the thing I love about the landlord farming group on Facebook is that we have a group of five or six hundred letting agents all sharing ideas and I know you guys get a lot from the Facebook group don't you mm. a lot we'll come on to that in a second but anyway I want to share with you guys so you've got great stuff yeah. what else have you done over the years to systemize your business 